Hello everyone, welcome to the FT Share channel. In this video, we will discuss another hydrogen engine developed by Toyota. But before continuing the discussion, we can guess, surely many of you are asking, what are the advantages of a hydrogen engine? Okay, to answer that, let's go straight to the video. To answer the previous question, what do you think the advantages of this hydrogen engine are? Let's answer right away. The main advantages are in the contents used. This hydrogen engine will not use or produce carbon, so the remaining combustion only emits water vapor, and not smoke or what we usually refer to as carbon emissions. It's that simple. Of course, with a concept like this, it will be interesting for automotive enthusiasts who hear about it to find out and learn about this engine. And if we talk about innovation in a vehicle engine, we also have to compare it with products already used a lot, right? It's none other than a vehicle with an EVE motor a machine that comes with a myriad of extraordinary advantages. But, in fact, these claims are not as efficient and environmentally friendly as we think. Because in the manufacturing process, there is a mine that is devoted to looking for aluminum, nickel, and several other parts that are used as core materials for batteries, which are produced by going through stages that are very damaging to nature and detrimental, also for the surrounding community or flora and fauna that we must also think about as automotive enthusiasts. Therefore, seeing these increasingly dire conditions, Toyota developed a hydrogen engine which was presented to the automotive world through the Corolla Sport prototype car. The car embedded with a hydrogen combustion engine that they have tested in the endurance race. This machine comes with a 1.6-liter configuration, three cylinders, forced induction turbocharger. And the fun fact is, it turns out that this engine is a converted engine derived from the GR Yaris engine, which means that Toyota only changes the fuel and increases the compression slightly according to needs, without overhauling much of the basic design of this machine. However, every innovation will certainly have its challenges where the conversion of the machine must go through enough stages to make mechanics dizzy during the engineering process. It can be seen from the research they have been doing for a long time and the technology from the new hydrogen engine they successfully introduced in 2016. But, at that time, this machine is not yet 100% present as a hydrogen engine, because it still needs combining with fossil fuels with a 1 to 1 mixing ratio. Until the point in mid-2021, Toyota finally succeeded in releasing its newest version of a vehicle with a pure hydrogen engine. An engine that will maintain the environment and the existence of the combustion generation. Okay, I'm sure many people are curious about the mechanism of action, so let's get straight to the mechanism of action. The way it works is the same as other engines, which still use the four-stroke concept, consisting of intake, compression, expansion, and exhaust. But the difference is, this machine uses direct injection to supply hydrogen fuel used when entering the ignition stage. For details, the intake process occurs to suck oxygen from outside to the engine. Then simultaneously, the injection will start supplying hydrogen into the combustion chamber. Furthermore, the fuel that has been mixed will be compressed, and then the fuel will be ignited and expanded. Then the rest of the combustion that comes out will make us full smiling because what comes out is not emission gas, but pure water vapor. Talking about his ability in endurance racing, this Corolla car from the Toyota manufacturer can cover a distance of 1,643 kilometers, which he achieved in 24 hours. Indeed, compared with other endurance cars, it is still far away, but this is definitely enough to be used as a daily vehicle. And, if we talk about refuel from zero to full, it only takes about 7 minutes, which is definitely faster than electric cars, which take a very long time to charge. But, in this part, we will also be confused by the concept of a hydrogen engine, namely the problem of the fuel tank, where when filled, the pressure possessed by the tank is as big as it can reach 10,000 psi. We can imagine how big, thick and heavy the tank is. In theory, the engine developed by Toyota does not produce carbon. However, with the four-stroke concept that needs lubrication, this engine will still produce carbon in very minimal amounts, which is none other than the lubricating oil itself. The carbon is created from residual lubrication oil contained in the cylinder wall, which will burn during combustion. But it's not too big either because the carbon value is in the range of 0.2% if we compare it with conventional combustion engines. Well, now there will be new questions. 
Why haven't these engines and cars been mass-produced if this machine is that good? The answer is that this machine still has a myriad of problems, starting with the fuel, which is quite hard to find and make, the tank which makes it awkward, and its fuel consumption which is classified as less efficient. There is also a more sophisticated hydrogen technology, still the same from Toyota 2, namely Mirai with an electric motor and selling its hydrogen fuel cell. But keep in mind that this is an electric motor that still needs a battery, and clearly the explanation will be different from the combustion engine, so if many are interested, we will discuss it in a separate video. And there's one more, an interesting solution to realize the hydrogen combustion engine is developing the Omega-1 engine from Astron which we have already discussed. We put the link in the description column. Okay, what do you think? Will the hydrogen engine be the main engine in the future? Or will it disappear without a trace? You can write your opinion in the comments column. See you in the following videos and thanks for watching.